Hi. Yesterday, my co-founder released a video showing how to do a frosted glass effect uh, in Nordcraft using HTML and CSS, um, which is one of the effects used in Apple's new liquid glass design system. And it was very popular, got a ton of views, but also got a lot of comments that it didn't have all the refraction effects used in uh, some of the liquid, liquid design system, right? Which is true. Um, and so I thought I'd show you how to do that today. So the effect here we have, we'll just go into test mode, is this little button down here. And you can see as we scroll, it actually refracts and bends the light behind it. So it has this like rounded refracted glass look. And as I click it, we animate and we can see it sort of adapts the light to the background image. And it has this sort of liquid glass effect. Similar, not 100% the same, but similar to what, what Apple is doing with their liquid glass, right? And so in order to do this, you need to reach a little bit outside of, of CSS. You can't do it 100% with CSS. Uh, what we actually need is a SVG filter. So I'll just move myself over here for now, right? So SVG has uh, something called filters, which allows you to essentially modify system elements. And you can do that to mo modify SVG elements, but with the filter CSS property, you can also use these filters to actually modify HTML elements directly, which is what we're doing here. This is not gonna be a tutorial on SVG filters because that should probably not even be a tutorial, that should be a whole course. They are not simple. Uh, but they are very fun to work with. The basics of what we're doing is um, we're taking these different inputs, um, uh, sort of images almost that generates, like generated images, so for example, turbulence here, if we look at the attributes, it takes some different inputs, such as the um, uh, base frequency for turbulence, a seed, and then based on an algorithm, it generates a noise image. Uh, which is why you have that sort of distorted effect. So if we go here, that sort of it's distortion effect back uh, on the background. The reason why it sort of bend is based on this, um, it's based on this uh, turbulence noise image generators. And then it combines that with some Gaussian blur, which blurs the background. That's why you can see it's a bit, if we zoom in, you can see it's a bit more blurry here, right? And then we have specular lighting to create lighting effects on top. And all of these are just um, effects, essentially filters or effects in SVG that applies uh, to that element. I highly recommend anyone to dive into this because it's a really fascinating area, um, but it's also complex. It takes a little while to, to figure out, right? Uh, displacement map is the final bar. That's what actually the final bit that sort of grabs in the source graphic, which means is whatever is behind that the filter element at the given time of rendering. So that would be the, the little part of the image we're actually seeing here, right? And then uh, in this case, what's called the soft map, which I believe is the output of the Gaussian blur. And the Gaussian blur, again, in, you can see these in and results. So what happens is it takes the turbulence, it outputs that as called turbulence, and then Gaussian blur, so take the turbulence, blur that to create the soft map, and then in here, finally, in the displacement map, it says go and actually apply that um, to the original image to create all these effects. And then on top of that, we add some specular lighting, et cetera, right? Um, but this, uh, this SVG filter right here, I'm going to share that in description so you can copy it directly and put it in and use it. So if you just want this effect and you don't really need to dive into the specifics of why it works, you can just copy this into your project. And, and as long as you have the filter ID glass distortion and as long as your actual div uh, here, this is the specific item that does the... As long as that has... I'll move myself over there. That filter URL glass distortion... As long as you have that, it's going to apply that effect. So you can use it even if you 100% don't understand every bit the SVG does, right? The only thing to be aware of is that these kind of filters does tax the computer a bit more. They're a little bit more heavy than a normal website. So just consider that when using them. If you overdo it, you can like slow down your site, right? So that was a liquid glass effect done entirely uh, in the browser with native browser technologies, right? Um, I am gonna link a ton of things in the description, uh, especially Luke Romero, 
who did a code pen example of this. I got a lot of inspiration. A lot of the details of how the SVG works is taken from there. I'm going to link the code pen and his Blue Sky profile in the description. So thank you very much for, for all the work he did there. Um, if you want to go try out this, I'll also link the actual project I'm working on. So you can open that up, inspect it and clone it if you want to play around with it. Um, thank you very much for watching.